<laughs> oh gosh, where do I begin? Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka HaKwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Where do I begin, man? These, oh. These, these women, bro. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to be utterly destroyed. Two-thirds of these women are going to be destroyed. Because, actually, a lot of women are going to get fucked up. You know, and, and 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 rightfully so. You know, they've got this mentality that, you know, women power, women hour, women devour, women shower, you know, women baby showers and bullshit like that. You know, they actually believe that their kingdom is going to last forever. You know, I just did a lesson where Esau is fallen. His kingdom is fallen. And with him, that nigga woman is going to fall right along with him. And it's going to be a... Fuck that It's gonna be a beautiful sight to see These women fucking being humble You know it, 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 It's it's irritating That Of all of these things that are happening To women They just can't understand That it is not for their betterment This place is not for their benefit You know Yahab Hashem Shai has not given them <laughs> Wisdom Because Uh nor has he imparted them to them understanding. Because if they understood what was going on, and and, 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 and with that last verse I just quoted, Salaki, if I got it wrong, you know what I'm saying? I'm just paraphrasing that, that uh, you know, that verse because it just popped in my head. But these women, man, are foolish. They are foolish. You know, they... They're clamorous. They actually know nothing. And it's and it's frustrating. Anyhow, let me get to the point. So uh Joe Biden, you know, I guess dropped out of the race. And the next in line is his VP, who's who's Carmilla. And and so now these ninja women see a dark-skinned woman who, by the way, is not of her people, is not of their people. Carmela is not an Israelite, you know? <laughs> she, she's not, you know? And, 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 and a lot of these women think that she's of their nation just because she's a dark-skinned woman, you know? And, and they're falling right into that play, you know, they're falling right into that, you know, mindset, you know, because I believe Kamala is a, is from Elam, if I'm not mistaken, you know, those West Indians, you know, and, uh, and oh, man, it, 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 it's kind of hard, you know, Anyhow, let me bring out some scriptures, you know what I'm saying? It's because it's ridiculous. As a matter of fact, let me bring out a scripture and then I'm going to play this video I got going on on the screen. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17 and verse 15. One from among thy brethren shall, shall thy set king over thee. So... Yahweh Shem had told the nation of Israel, don't set another nation over you. And rightfully so. Why would you set another nation over you when that nation doesn't have the same interests that you do? Why would you set a people over you when those people don't and will never do things that are, have your nation prosper, but instead have their nation prosper over you? You know, and Jake still hasn't put that together yet. You know, it doesn't matter if it's an Edomite, a Hamite, um, you know, an Elamite. These nations don't give a flying fuck about you, Jakes. What they're doing, they're doing to benefit themselves, not you. 
you know, and the same thing goes for you women. Do not choose a ruler from another nation to be your ruler. The Lord told you don't do that. Thou must not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Don't do it. Just don't fucking vote. But you people, you believe in Babylon the Great, and you're going to be destroyed with Babylon the Great. So I got a video here of, of, of you know, a ninja woman who, who's looking forward to trying to get this Elamite in office, you know, and, and, and it's vexing, but it's beautiful in the same breath because once this shit go down, you know, these women who are very prof powerful be brought low, you know, I want them to keep that energy. I want them to keep that woman power bullshit. I want them to maintain that same integrity that they have before this shit actually falls apart. Because in a day of trouble, fuck them. In that day of trouble, fuck them. Because before that day, they did not seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They were not seeking a man of a man of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So let me play this video. So, so you ninja women can raise $1.5 million to get a woman who's not of your nation in the office, but you can't raise $1.5 million to help each other out? The fucking hypocrisy. You women can sit there and talk about how you don't have and how you're not, you're not getting and how shit... But in the same breath, you could raise $1.5 million to get a woman from another nation to be a ruler over you. But you fucking women can't raise one point. You women can't raise $5 to help your neighbor stay in her apartment. What the fuck? <laughs> And that's that pride talking. That's that that's that bullshit pride. Because these women actually think that they've got power. And and to a certain extent they do. As long as Esau Edom is giving them that power, they've got power. They've got a level of power that is about to be taken away from them. You know, here it is. This itch got a nerve to sit there and fix her lips and say that they gotta fix shit. No. Bitch, you fucking up shit. You've always fucked up shit. You fucked up your nation. You fucked up your children. You fucked up your men. You fucked up your household. You, f you women fuck everything up. But don't worry though, you know what I'm saying? Because your Habba Shimi Al Shai got something for your ass. And I'm not talking to those Akwaf who are trying, who are trying to. Be right in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. I'm not referring to you. I'm referring to them nigga women who are out there just to be out there thinking that this shit don't stink. Because very soon their shit is going to stink. Their stench is going to go up. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is about to put an end to this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And, and we've been telling you women. We've been telling, we've been warning you. Matter of fact, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7 and verse 14, they have blown the trumpet. Who's the they? The prophets who have been out there on the highways and byways have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready. So we're out there warning you people of these things that are coming. We're, 
with even one of you women that you're gonna get fucked up if you don't repent and and get right. We're telling these other nations that they're gonna get fucked up because they can get right, but they're gonna get fucked up for what they did unto the nation of Israel. We're telling you men to repent, stop being moles and hoes and adulterers and fornications and all this other stuff. We're telling you to repent, turn back, stop these things so that you could be ready for what's coming. You know? But none go off to the battle. So your prophets are out there in the highways and byways within the battlements of the city trying to warn you people of what's coming. These calamities is meant to whip your ass. You know? Daddy's coming home. And daddy ain't, he ain't fucking around. Our Lord is on his way back and he's not fucking around. But, but before he gets back, Work's going to be done. Serious work is going to be done. Because at the end of your day, you're going to realize that it was a higher power that whipped your ass the way that it did. You're going to know Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is whipping your ass. And you people ain't even ready for the battle. You ain't ready. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. And that also includes you heathen. You ain't out of the fucking woodwork. You ain't out of the woodwork because your Habba Shimmy Asha, I got something for you too. You're going to be going through it as well. And that's right. And that's the mindset of a lot of you women. Oh, you ain't going to tell me what to do, which is why you just disrespect your husbands because you got this mindset that nobody can't tell you what the fuck to do but don't worry in that day of your calamity when you are being run down as a mire in the street don't come to me don't come to me because I'm gonna look at you like you out of your motherfucking mind if I'm one of those men of your how about I'm gonna look at you like you <laughs> like you out of your motherfucking mind because I want you to maintain that energy I want you to maintain the same energy that you're presenting your, yourself with now. This woman on the screen here is very prideful, extremely prideful. And there are millions like her. There are millions like there are millions upon millions of women just like her of the tribes of the nation of Israel. And those women are going to be brought very low. This chick right here is going to be brought very low. Because she has the mindset that can't nobody tell her what the fuck to do. She probably run her fucking household. If she has a husband. And you ain't black, you're brown. Do you not understand? The more you call yourself black, the worse it is for you. And these women follow you, niggas. The women of the world follow you. Actually, the people of the world follow us. Because we are the salt of the earth. And trust me, they're not going to stop you from doing what you're doing right now. In fact, they want it to happen. They want you to perpetuate this. They want you to go out and do what you're doing for these other nations to prove just how fucking stupid you are. We raised 1.5 million and now all these other nations or all these other people from these other nations are starting to gather money to help. Really? Really? Meanwhile, the same women of your own nation is getting kicked out of their homes. Kids not eating. But you can raise 1.5 million. Yeah, how about Shimmy Asha going to fuck y'all up?
And you bitches who are in these fraternities, oh, oh, oh. y'all about shimmy out shy, I got something for you. And she's probably in the frat too. She probably in the frat. You know, because, because those people who are not in frats don't talk about frats unless you're in a frat. And she bringing out frats. And your shimmy outside is going to break his foot off in your ass. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Stay tuned. Stay tuned because your how about shit me out shot is about to throw a monkey wrench and all this bullshit and you about to get caught out there. Period. Period and period. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 7 and verse 15. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. <sighs> The book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse, verse 34. Because if you're not paying attention to these things, that's what's going to happen to you. If, it, if you do not repent, those things are going to happen to you. The pestilence, the famine, the swords, they're just waiting. As a matter of fact, they're rubbing their hands together just waiting for that moment. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 34. Take heed yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life. This, these people are worried about the cares of this life. They're worried about who's going to be the next resident, so that way they can brag and they can boast even more. But Yahweh Shem is going to rain fire upon these people. You know? It's a vexing thing, you know, these people still don't get it. These people still don't get it. So, fuck them. Because at the end of the day, this lesson is for the elect. This lesson is specifically for the elect. And none else. These people are about to receive a very horrible punishment. And that's why... I brought out the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 34 because while they're worried about all these political issues and who's going to be the next Ezzedan and this, that, or the other, you should be worried about your salvation. You should be ready to drop all this shit at the drop of a dime. You should be preparing your mind and your spirit for what's to come. Take heed yourself, Lisa, any time your hearts, meaning your minds, be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life. Don't worry about that house. Don't worry about that car. Don't worry about that job. Don't worry about your money. Don't worry about your 401k. And if your family ain't in the truth, don't worry about your mother. Don't worry about your father. Don't worry about your grandmother. Don't worry about your aunt. Don't worry about those things. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because if these people aren't seeking your Habashim Yahushua now, they may, I don't know. I don't know. But right now, if, if none of these things matter to you, then don't let it matter. Don't concern yourselves with the affairs of this world the way these ninja women are. I love my mother. But at the end of the day, Yahweh Shem Shai didn't give her that breath. And with that, you know, I'm going to have to move on and work out my own salvation with fear and trembling. And so that the day come upon them, come upon you unawares. So don't worry about these things because the minute you start worrying about these things and you worry about them more and more, destruction is going to come upon you unawares. And you're going to be like, well, where did this come from? Well, you went back into the world. You were worried about shit that don't matter. You know, and here it is. This woman on the screen actually thinks that it's going to be better just because you get a so-called black woman in office. 
the book of Proverbs, chapter 14 and verse 15, the simple believeth every word. She believes every word. She actually believes that with this woman is saying who's the next nominee is going to benefit her. She actually believes these things, but we know better. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 32, and it reads, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. And, they, and these people are foolish who are about to be destroyed. These women are very prideful. And don't get me wrong, there are some men who, who are right along with what this woman is saying, who's right along with it, who want to see these women become rulers over them. And those men are going to be destroyed. So, to, to the Akim and Akwath, just sit back, do what you're doing, pray, throw your lessons up, you know, repent. You know, and constantly keep your eyes on your Habashim Yahushai. You know, because while we got our eyes on the kingdom to come, these people are more concentrated on the kingdom that they're in. And they're going to be destroyed right with this kingdom. And so with that, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles of great millstone who will well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.